Now, children, we come to the second exercise, page number 11. That is the grammar part. See, Ramchand is reading a book and stumbles upon the word noun. He asks his mother about its meaning. So, we have already discussed what is a noun. And now here, Ramchand is also studying about noun. And he asks his mother, what is a noun? So, now read, let us read the conversation. Ma, what is a noun? What is, does his mother answer? A noun is a naming word. I told you that noun is a naming word. What does it name? It can be the name of a person, a place, an animal or a thing. So, it can be name of a person like Rhea. It can be name of a place like Delhi. It can be name of an animal like lion or a thing, a chair. This can also be a noun. So, a noun is basically the name of a person, a place, an animal or a thing. Now, what is, what does he, what is he asking? Give me examples, ma. Now, his mother gives him examples. All right. Your name, Ramchand, is the name of a person, right? Similarly, Amritsar, where we live, is the name of a place. Chuhu is the name of an animal, whereas you call your pencil, which is a thing. Tuku. So, Ramchand, Amritsar, Chuhu and Tuku are nouns. So, here basically we are taking the names of all, pers all person, place, animal or thing. Right? But since we have started common noun also, in that way we can take not only name the uh, name everything but as a general also we if we take that also is considered as a noun okay hmm so are nouns of different types yes they are but you will understand them better if you take a look at this table so now let us look at this table common noun so, what is a common noun? A common noun is the general name of a person, place, animal or thing. For example, I told you the example of a lion. Right? Am I naming the lion? No. I am talking about the lion as, a, as general. So, it is a common noun. Now, the name, uh, the examples of common nouns are person, boy or girl, place, city or country. Animal, duck, wolf or any other animal. Thing, eraser, bag, etc. Okay. So, these are different types of common noun. Now, proper noun. What is a proper noun? As we discussed, proper noun is a name of a particular person, place, animal or thing. For example, we have already seen over here, Ramchand, Amritsar, Chuhu and Tuku. Like person, Vikram, Saira. Place, Mumbai or India. Animal, Tuffy, Kitty. Like you name your pet. You name your pets, right? Like somebody keeps the name Tuffy. Somebody keeps, somebody keeps the name Saina. Somebody. So these are different types of names you keep to your pet. So these are also the proper nouns. Thing, Cadbury, Tiffany. So these are different types of things. But they come under proper nouns. Collective noun. When we talk about a group of something, a people might be a person, uh, a, an animal might, animals might be, things might be, then uh, that entire group together is called a collective noun. For example, about for people, if you say a crew of sailors. So, all the many sailors together, a group of sailors together is called a crew of sailors. Animals a pride of pride of lions. So many lions together, group of lions together is called a pride of lions. Things a pack of cards, a bouquet of flowers, bunch of keys. I think these all terms are very common to you all. So these all come under collective noun. Abstract noun. An abstract noun refers to a quality, an idea or a feeling. An abstract noun you cannot see but you can only feel. Quality, 
loyalty idea freedom feeling love okay material noun now when i explain noun i did not explain concrete noun to you but today i am going to tell you about material noun and also concrete noun which is quite related to material noun a material noun is the name of a substance from which something is made for example like wood from wood we make chairs we make tables we make cupboards we make many things right so wood is a material noun and when i say cupboard so it is only already, already a made thing we can touch we can feel the cupboard so that is a material uh, that is a concrete noun okay so here is a difference between material noun and concrete noun so what is a concrete noun uh, sorry material noun material noun is the name of a substance from which other things can be made for example see wood wool clay glass iron gold silver or cement now children come to page number 12 and let us see the first exercise over here see there are errors in the sentences below rewrite each sentence correctly let us write these sentences correctly the word rabbit is a proper noun is it a proper noun am i talking about any particular rabbit no so this is a common noun over here we are talking about all the rabbits so here it is a common noun a few examples of common nouns are boy man uncle and keshav how come keshav is a common noun keshav is a name of a particular person so keshav is not a common noun it is a proper noun okay the collective noun in a herd of cattle is cattle no cattle is a group of cattle is called the herd so herd is the collective noun over here okay herd is the collective noun a noun cannot be used to refer to qualities and ideas is this sentence correct no why because and what is an abstract noun it refers to qualities and ideas so we can say that a noun can be used to refer to qualities and ideas okay next one two examples of collective nouns are friendship and happiness can we see friendship no can we see happiness no we can only feel them so when we feel something what type of noun is it it is abstract noun so these are is two examples of abstract nouns are friendship and happiness cotton is not a material noun why why is not cotton a material noun from cotton we can make so many things isn't it we can make clothes we can make out of cotton we make pillows cotton is inside the pillow right so we use cotton for so many things so cotton is a material noun now the word not will not be here is it clear children i hope it's clear to all of you 